waiting for a man who says he's going to blow the lid off the secrets of the religion of the stars to tell the story of the dark side of the Church of Scientology. Hi, everyone. Uh, very happy to be back. And obviously, I'm here with Christy. Uh, she's going to do some of the talking for me. Um, I wanted to give everybody a bit of an update. I feel like um, I sort of owe it to you, uh, the outpouring of support from literally thousands of people has been um, overwhelming, humbling, and incredibly gratifying. Uh, all of you who have sent the kindest messages and who have sent money and contributed, I can't thank you enough. It has given us comfort, hope, and strength. Uh, Christy has been incredible over the last couple of months. She's my nurse, my chauffeur, my support team, my advocate, and the bulldog who never gave up in the face of idiotic bureaucracy and red tape that comes along when you have to deal with insurance companies and drug companies and hospitals and all the other associated uh, crap that uh, sort of gets thrown in the way of getting the needed medical care. But we are on the right path, and I'm going to have Christy give you an update on where we're at and what's been happening. Um, I, I just can't thank you all enough for your kindness. Yes, well said. Um, hi, everybody. This is my first time appearing on Mike's channel. Um, so it's a special, special situation. So that's why I'm here. Um, yeah, as Mike said, we just want to thank you all so much for everything that all of our friends, all of our supporters have done um, for all of the financial support. Um, also, our friends, our neighbors have just completely uh, showered us with support, with help, with bringing meals, uh, running errands, entertaining our kids, just doing really anything and everything to make our lives easier. And that has just been incredible. Um, and so just we're just so grateful. Um, so the update is that overall, Mike is doing better. He is on a treatment that is the targeted therapy treatment that he needs for his um, exact situation. We, um, since starting treatment, he has been on an upward trend, getting better each day. Um, things like his appetite is improving overall. He's starting to gain a little bit of weight after losing a lot of weight. Um, what else, honey? Uh, the fluid. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to get to that. So uh, overall, you know, a little more energy and just feeling better than um, how he was a, a few weeks back. The way this cancer presents, uh, there is a buildup of fluid in the lungs. And so the simple explanation for that is it's just a uh, something that is part of how this cancer is presenting in Mike's body. And in the beginning, before we started treatment, we were draining one liter of fluid every day. And now we are draining around 150 milliliters of fluid every couple of days. So our doctor has, uh, Mike's oncologist has told us this is the best indicator we have to um, understand that he's making progress and that he's getting better. And it's uh, an incredible amount of progress in a short period of time. So we're just hopeful that that continues and that he um, continues to just get better and better. Um, we also got through a lot of hard work <laughs> and approval uh, through the Lilly Cares Foundation, which will help us to uh, afford the medication that he needs for the next six months. So we're all set with that. Um, he's got the first, uh, you know, first 
phase of treatment is all um, under control at this point in time. So we don't need anything. Um, if we do get to the point where we need anything, we will absolutely reach out and let our friends and supporters know what we need. Um, but we're, we're we're well set up right now with everything that we need. Um, we just want you to keep us in your thoughts, keep us in your prayers, keep sending all the love that you've been sending, and we will continue to give you guys updates. But overall, the news is that Mike is getting better um, bit by bit. We still have a very long way to go um, to be 100 percent, but um, he's he's a strong person. He's a fighter and we're going to get through this. Right, Mike? Yes, honey. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's very ironic that Eli Lilly, of all people, are <laughs> have come to the party to help save my life, uh, given the history between Scientology and Eli Lilly. Uh, I think that that's a, uh, a really sort of amusing side note to this whole affair. Um, it won't be for probably another 10 weeks before there will be any true medical evidence of improvement. And that's when I will be able to get the next PET scan, which is the scan specifically designed to isolate cancer cells. And they will be able to see from that whether there has been a reduction of the cancer cells, uh, a shift or, or any changes until then everything is somewhat anecdotal um, meaning it's whether I feel better whether I have more appetite whether we're draining less fluid whether I feel uh, I can get up and walk around or go out uh, side or other things and those indicators are very steadily improving and i i can't thank you all enough for the literally overwhelming levels of support and knowing everybody is out there and on my team is is so gratifying and so appreciated and I just wanted to give a short message to let you all know I'm still alive and kicking and getting better. And I really, really appreciate you all. So thank you so much. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for your support. Hashtag Team Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Until next time. Bye. Bye, guys.